So friends, right now, let's prepare to receive. These are the best parts of the class. They are, they are. So now, if you have things in your hands, just put them down. You can lie down, you can sit up, you can do whatever. But op it's standing is tough. So if you're standing, I would recommend finding a, another way to let gravity support you. <laughs> <coughs> and now, friends, right now, let's each of us drop our own earth energy, not rephrase. Let's each of us for ourselves draw up upward rising earth energy, doing what we can do right now for ourselves to prepare ourselves to receive. Our energy fields are all very nice and very open. And if we were listening to this recording later on, we would <coughs> first, congratulations on your energy shift. You would first do an opening process for yourself. But we have just done an awful lot of that. So now we'll just briefly flush our heart chakras back to front and front to back. Briefly flush our pillars of light top to bottom and bottom to top. Especially, oh, wow, that feels great. Flushing our pillars top to bottom and bottom to top just a little bit more. Creating turbulence, clearing, cleansing, drawing the focus to the intersection of heart chakra and vertical channels. Ha, feeling it pop into a bubble of light and love. And now, friends, I'm going to ask on all our behalf for the channels to be opened even wider to our own guides and angels and to that ultimate source of life and love, for the channels to be opened even wider to the light beings and the teachers of the light workers healing method and that they remove any blockages or resistance that we might have that would limit our ability to receive, draw us into full optimal alignment with you, the guides, the angels, light beings and source. And now, Prepare us to receive. Prepare our energy bodies to receive. And now please give each of us that which is in accordance with the divine plan for us as individuals. Give us whatever healing we're open to receive right now. Give us all other gifts and assistance that are in our highest and best good and realign our intuitive channels as much as we allow to point straight up to you, the guides, the angels, light beings, and source. Clear our physical bodies, clear our mental bodies, clear our emotional bodies, clear our spiritual bodies to receive the continual stream of healing, blessings, and guidance that are here for each of us in every moment. <coughs> Clear the way for us to be able to notice the state of our own energy bodies. And clear the way for us to be able to notice the state of others' energy bodies, if and when it's appropriate to do so, never forcing, never forcing. Give each of us that which is needed to be able to locate traumas and to remove them. Give each of us that which is needed to be able to integrate the soul fragments, to heal them. Give us that which we need to be perfect vessels for soul healing. Give each of us signs, confirming signs of the truth of our perceptions and help us recognize those signals. Give each of us that which matters most in this work. Give us whatever we need to be a light worker in our own right way. Give us that which pulls us forward on our life path, that optimal and personal future for each of us. And now help us integrate and anchor the gifts, the awarenesses, the healings, the blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now knowing there's power in repetition right now, we ask again from a different starting point, for those channels to be opened even wider to our own guides and angels and, of course, the ultimate source of life and love. <sighs> Asking the channels to be opened even wider to the light beings and the teachers of the light workers healing method. And I'm asking them to remove any blockages or resistance that we have that will limit our ability to receive. I'm asking to be drawn into full optimal alignment with you, the guides, the angels, 
light beings and source and prepare us right now to receive these gifts and blessings fully. And now please give each of us that which is in accordance with the divine plan for us as individuals. Give us whatever healing we're open to receive right now. Give us all other gifts and assistance that are in our highest and best good and realign our intuitive channels as much as we allow to point straight up to you, the guides, the angels, light beings, <coughs> and source. Clear our physical bodies, clear our mental bodies, clear our emotional bodies, clear our spiritual bodies, so that we can sense the continual stream of blessings, healings, guidance, support that's here for each of us in every moment. Clear the way for us to be able to notice the state of our own energy bodies. Clear the way for us to be able to notice the state of other people's energy bodies, if and when it's appropriate to do so, never forcing. Give each of us what we need to be perfect vessels for finding and removing the traumas of lifetimes. Give each of us what we need to be perfect vessels to help heal the soul fragments that are then ready to return. Give each of us whatever we need to be perfect vessels for soul healing. Give us confirming signals of the truth of our work and our perceptions and help us recognize and acknowledge those signals rather than ignoring them. Give each of us that which matters most in this work. Give us whatever we need to be a light worker in our own right way. <coughs> Give each of us that which pulls us forward on our divine path, that optimal and personal future for each of us. And now help us integrate and anchor the gifts, the awarenesses, the blessings, and the healings. Now, for m some of us, we feel complete with that, and that is fine. Just process, no pressure for more. But some people are really wishing to have more, and so we're going to go one more time for anyone who wishes to have more. We're going to ask for the channels to be opened even wider now, coming from a different starting point. Channels to be opened even wider to our own guides and angels, the ultimate source of life and love, the light beings and the teachers of the light workers' healing method, that they remove any blockages or resistance that we have that might limit our ability to receive, prepare us to receive, and now give each of us that which is in accordance with the divine plan for us as individuals. Give us whatever healing we're open to receive right now. Give us all other gifts and assistance that are in our highest and best good and realign our intuitive channels as much as we allow <laughs> to point straight up to you, the guides, the angels, light beings, and source. Clear our physical bodies, our mental bodies, clear our emotional bodies and our spiritual bodies so we can sense the continual stream of divine blessings and guidance and support that's here for all of us in every moment. And now give each of us that which we need to be perfect vessels, to find and release the traumas of lifetimes. Give us what we need to be perfect vessels for healing the soul energy that's then ready to return. Give us what we need to be perfect vessels for soul healing. Give each of us that which matters most in this work. Give us whatever we need to be a light worker in our own right way. Give us that which we need to pull us forward on our divine path that optimal and personal future for each of us. And now help us integrate and anchor the gifts, the blessings. Let the coughs happen. Let the sneezes happen. Let the yawns happen. That's the body's response to an energy shift. Don't feel badly about that, friends. Don't suppress the coughs. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's your energy body saying yes. <sighs> Help us integrate and anchor the gifts, the awarenesses, the blessings, the healings. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 